Hassan Hito, the Syrian-American former Texas IT executive who's just been appointed the first interim prime minister of the Syrian opposition. He says he'll name his government and move into Syria very soon, and top of his agenda to increase basic services for the Syrian people, and also to make the case for the world to support the free Syrian army with anti-tank and anti-aircraft weapons as well as a no-fly zone. I spoke to him just moments ago from his temporary headquarters in Istanbul, Turkey. Hassan Hito, welcome to the program. Thanks for joining me. Thank you, Christian. Mr. Hito, I, I wonder whether you think you really have your work cut out for you, that it's going to be an uphill struggle, because I want to put out now a poll that the highly reputable and reliable Pew Institute has done regarding help for the rebels. What we have is practically every country that's polled, certainly countries in your region, are all opposed to the West arming Syria rebels. Only Jordan supports. But then, even when Pew asks about Arab countries, trying to arm the Syria rebels, we see the same thing. Everybody in your region is against, except for Jordan. How do you account for that, and what are you going to do to persuade them that you actually do need these weapons? What, what, we, what we say to, to this, and I'm not sure, uh, and I know you said that this is a reliable poll, but what we say to that is, what is the alternative? Is the alternative to allow extremist group to continue to take uh, hold and, 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 and continue to uh, grow an influence inside the country? Do we, do we wait until uh, thousands and thousands more of Hezbollah fighters uh, uh, continue to pour into Syria and, and fight along the side of the Assad regimes and killing the Syrian people? Over 30,000 Hezbollah soldiers are inside Syria fighting along the, along the side of the Assad regime. On 7,000 alone are in, in uh, Al Qsir near, near, near Homs. Do, do we wait for more uh, Iranian soldiers and Iranian influence in, in the region? Uh, we, we tell our, our uh, friends, uh, Arab friends and, and, and uh, non-Arab friends and our Western uh, friends to look at these things very closely. The, the interim government is the alternative, is the solution to bring order into, into Syria. Uh, we believe uh, unlike what the poll and the report that you just mentioned, we believe we do enjoy a lot more support from our neighboring countries and our, our Arab friends and also our Western friends uh, and, and do believe that they do see that this government is, is the, the, the alternative and is the, the correct alternative and the correct solution for the problem in Syria. I do realize that we have the, our work cut out for us. No one said that this is going to be easy. It's quite challenging, actually. But the more we wait, the more we wait, uh, Christian, the problems are getting more complicated and more expensive to solve. You mentioned Hezbollah, and you, you, you said 30,000 fighters, which is obviously a lot of people. As you know, the Israelis this weekend bombed what they said were military installations in order to prevent <coughs> advanced weapons moving from Iran through Damascus to Hezbollah. That must be something you approve of, then? Absolutely not. Uh, the, the, the Assad regime and, 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 and its brutality has allowed uh, these uh, foreign elements to intervene inside Syria. The, the, the intervention of, 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 of Hezbollah and these fighters, the presence of Hezbollah fighters inside Syria and the presence of Iranians, Iranians fighters and experts uh, in Syria uh, have have allowed uh, Israeli to uh, to uh, go with these uh, strikes. We we do not approve of of, of any intervention that causes the loss of the uh, Syrian people. All right, I hear you on that. In terms of foreign fighters, as you know, the opposition has been criticised and tainted by the view that a lot of jihadi, fundamentalists, extremists, Al-Qaeda-affiliated, so-called bad actors have really joined the fight. And not only that, are probably doing the best fighting. And not only that, probably if the rebels' so-called opposition manages even to win in the end, who on earth is going to be the victor? Nobody wants to see an extremist Syria. Isn't that something really difficult for you now? How are you going to, how, how does the opposition prevent 
a free Syria, as you would call it, from being a headquarters for al-Qaeda? Look, Christian, the Syrian people are known for being moderate. They are, they are they're known for rejecting any type of foreign ideology, any type of uh, ideology that enforces its ideas on, on, uh, on, on the people. Uh, Syrian people are known for being entrepreneurs. Uh, they, they are ready to go back and carry on with their normal lives. Uh, when, when this government is, is ratified by the Syrian coalition and, and is on the ground, uh, and bring an order to the life uh, of, of the Syrian people. We believe that all of the Syrians will, will join ranks with this, with this government because that's what they're looking for. I don't think and I don't believe that the Syrian people are interested in, in uh, uh, foreign fighters and, 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 and uh, al-Qaeda bringing its ideology into Syria. This is something that is totally foreign to, to the Syrian people and but, it but will be rejected. There. Okay, how do you, how do you uh, we, reject we must it? Remain how do you they're there how do you reject it and get rid of it once the battle is over look at libya right now mr hito sure it, 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 it's rejected by 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 the interim government going going in and 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 starting to providing services to the syrian people we have to look out of how these foreign fighters are trying to win the the the, the hearts and minds of the people by providing them services we, we have to go in and fix, fix the issues of electricity. We have to go in and fix the water issue, the drinking water, the water that's required for irrigation. We have to go in and, and repair flour mills. We have to go in and repair schools. Over 70% of the schools in Syria have been destroyed. Over 870,000 homes have been destroyed by the Assad regimes. When the interim government goes in and starts working and providing solutions to the people, those, those foreign fighters and those foreign elements will have no choice but to retreat. We will, we will avoid confrontation, but, but at the end of the day, we will do whatever it takes to bring Syria back to its, 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 its normal path, and that is Syria that's moderate, Syria that is looking into, into a bright future, Syria that's full of hope, Syria that, that, that has people are ready to, 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 to build it and, and take it forward. I do believe, uh, and I'm banking on, on, on this, and the Syrian people will, will be, will be uh, mature and, and will know that this is something that's not for them. We, we, we all have to believe in this. And I'm, 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 I certainly believe in this, and, and I'm, I'm uh, uh, betting my bottom dollar on, on, uh, on, on the, the maturity of the Syrian people. Now, it is amazing that you, as an American citizen, have left your career, have gone to Syria, and have tried to do your best for your people. Do you, on the other hand, worry that they will say, who is this man? He hasn't been here. He's a foreigner. He's backed by whatever, the conspiracy theorists. Or those who are actually doing the fighting on the ground now will not look to you for authority. Are you concerned about that? Uh, not at all, because uh, I've, I've, uh, done, I've done few things. For, for First and foremost, um, um, I, I stay away from all the uh, political uh, issues, uh, and, and I present myself as, as, a, as, a, as a technocrat, as, as one who is going to put a government together, that has a government together, that's ready to serve the people. People are driven by their needs, and when we focus on their needs and we focus on what they want, uh, they, they, they go along with that. The problem right now is that there is no, no one is taking the lead on inside Syria, on the ground, to serve the people. Right. People are ready to, to receive this government. I have reached out to uh, a lot of people inside Syria, both who are fighters and also those who are working in the, on the local councils and, and shopkeepers and, 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 and uh, housewives and, and teachers and all sorts of folks. And everyone is ready to receive this government and ready to move forward. Mr. Hito, what do you think of President Obama's red line? Do you think that's ever going to be defended, policed? I mean, look, uh, Christiane, I've, I've, I've mentioned this before. Uh, our red line was, was established when the first child in Dara was killed. That price for us was too, too high of a price to pay, waiting for uh, this red line and waiting for another red line and another line of a different color is, is, is just waiting too long. I think, I think waiting uh, for uh, something or, or continue to wait of doing nothing, it's going to cause more and more loss of lives, is going to cause us to uh, cause our work to be far more difficult than what it already is. 
we, we, we need to take action. We need to help the Free Syrian Army under the leadership of the SMC. We, we need to establish safe passages so we can provide aid to the Syrian people on a regular uh, basis. We need a no-fly zone so this government can go in and start working and serving the Syrian people. So these red lines, they, they, they need to be uh, maybe uh, uh, painted with more bright colors so they are seen clearly to the leadership of the United States and to President uh, uh, Obama, so we can take actions and, and not wait long until this problem become uh, totally out of control. Mr. Hito, thank you very much indeed for joining me. Thank you, uh, Christiane.